Hey guys, what kind of friends do you have? This is important because iron sharpens iron. Do you realize how some guys become better when they hang out with good men, good friends? And then how some change for the worst because they hang out with the wrong friends? We call that toxic relationships. And most of us, when we look at this, we usually do not look at ourselves. We only look at other people. So what if this person who's influencing people to be worse is actually you? What if it's you and you just can't see it clearly? How are you influencing your friends? But if it's not you, let me give you 10 signs to identify when you might be in a toxic relationship. Bad friends only call when they need help. You know, some people just call you when they need advice or help, but you never hear them calling you just to hear how things are going. Why is that? Because they're selfish. They only care about themselves. They don't really care about you. They only call when they want you to help them or when they want you to listen to their problems. It's only about them, 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 them. They never want to ask you how it's really going with you because they don't really care. And second, they're just using you. They're just using you in those times when they need help. They're only there when life is good. You know those kind of people? They just want to spend time with you when it's fun. You know, when it's good for them. When you spend money. <laughs> and when a lot of things are just free. And these kind of people are never there when times are tough. When you're actually going through a rough time and need a good friend. Ask yourself, were they there when you lost a family member? Were they there when you lost your job? Were they there when you went through a breakup or a divorce? Were they there when you asked for help? Think about this carefully. Are they here for me only when there are good times or do they help me up when I'm down? You can never be yourself. I mean, that's why friends are there for. People you can talk to where you can be yourself. And if you feel like you can't be yourself, you always feel that you need to impress them to keep them as your friends. Hmm, they might not be your real friends. This is how some friendships work in school and college. And even after that, no, a real friend accepts you as you are, but they also encourage you, motivate you, and build you up to become better. The best man that you can be. They never take responsibility and actually certain people actually turn it back on you. These are the kind of people you want to stay away from. Especially when they do you wrong and then they cannot take responsibility for it. You know those people who cannot take honest critique? They always have excuses and even make you feel bad for even pointing out their faults for doing you wrong. Some of these people are like good actors. They're playing the role of a victim. <laughs> They're victimizing themselves, trying to make you feel bad. Very manipulative. No, good friends will take responsibility for their actions, especially when it influences you personally. That is, if they truly care about you. When they purposefully say things that hurt you. Ugh, these are those kind of guys who want to bring you down so that they may feel better about themselves. They enjoy repeatedly saying things that offend and hurt you and they know it. This is actually sick. It is pure evil. Move away from these kind of people and find friends who will actually build you up. They want you to prioritize them, but they won't prioritize you. These are the kind of people you don't want to make friends with because they will never care about you. They just use you. They want you to jump whenever they can benefit from something that you can do for them at a specific time. They get jealous easily. These are bad friends and most of the time, they don't have confidence in themselves, in who they are. 
but they compare themselves to you and they want what you have for some reason. Be careful here, because especially when you get credit or you get praised in public, then they get jealous and they, they want to steal it. They want to have what you have. That is not love. That is not friendship. People who are jealous can backstab you very easily. They want to be in your place. They want to experience what you're experiencing. They want to have what you have. Or they would rather not let you have something if they cannot have it as well. They betray your trust. This is a tough one, especially when you trust them with your secrets, with your weaknesses, and then they actually use it against you. The Bible says, a dishonest man spreads strife and a whisperer separates close friends. Good friends are those who keep their word. Bad friends change like the weather. Stay away from people who one day treat you like their best friend and the next day like someone they don't even know. These are also those kind of friends who act a certain way when you are with them alone but then totally different when you're with other people in a group setting. Good friends are consistent. They are causing you more stress instead of reducing it. Guys, life can be tough at times. So in those tough times, you need your friends. They should not make it worse. The Bible says a man of many companions may come to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. You cannot choose your family, but you can definitely choose your friends. And it might feel really hard, tough to move away from a toxic relationship because you're just so in that situation that you don't see things clearly. But you need to move away for you to be able to improve and make better friends. Bold friendships with the right kind of people. Because remember, the Bible says iron sharpens iron and one man sharpens another. Now remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already and you might like one of these videos here. And before you go, always remember this, life is short, so don't waste yours. Cheers guys.